What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS5 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys once again how to access the internet browser on your PS5. I have covered this in a video about a year and a half ago but you know it's a bit outdated so it's time for an update. So basically I'm going to show you multiple ways of being able to access the internet browser because of course unlike the PS4, the PS5 does not have a built-in web browser app that you can easily access. Although the web browser is still built into the PS5, so it's a bit strange that they decided not to have, you know, just a link that you can click on to access the web browser. So you can still access it in a number of different ways. So firstly, if you have a PSN account, it's very, very easy and quick to access the internet. Uh, if you don't have a PSN account, if you're signed into a local account or you're on an older PS5 firmware, so you can't access PSN, you can still do it as long as you have a network connection. It's a bit more finicky, but it can still be done. So I'll show you all those different methods here in this video. Okay, so a couple of things to check just before you get started. First of all, if you head into settings and then scroll down to system settings and scroll down to web browser, you can customize a few settings for the browser right here. You wanna make sure allow cookies is enabled and that enable JavaScript is also enabled in order for you to have a smoother browsing experience so that most websites will work. And of course, you can also delete your cookies and clear your website data from in here as well. So once we've done that, we can then head back here to our home screen. So starting off, if you have a PSN account, then all you have to do is hit the PS button and go down to the game base option, select that option, and then go to messages and then create a new message and then go to search and search for a player or select a friend from your friends list. So select an account that you can send a message to you know, this is just a dummy account. You can have, if you have two accounts, you just send it to another one of your own accounts or a friend's account. And then all you're going to do is just send the link in the message. So for example, google.com. I would recommend always going to a search engine because then from there you can access any other website you want. So if we just type in google.com there and then select it, and then that creates a link to Google. So every time you want to access the internet browser again, all you have to do is go back to that message, select the link, and that will open you up to Google. And then from there, you can just search for any, you know, website that you want, for example, and, you know, you'll be able to access it right there. So that's the quick and easy way to do it if you have a PSN account. Although if you're not signed into PSN or you don't have a PSN account, you're on a local account or you're on an older PS5 firmware where you're not going to be able to send a message to anybody, in that case, there are still ways of accessing the browser. It's just more finicky. So what you can do if you are not signed into PSN, but you do have a network connection, you can go to settings and you can go to the user guide. And this will also open up into the browser. So the thing is that this will always take you to this user guide page when you go on here. So what you need to do is try to navigate outside of this user guide page to get onto Google. So that you're going to have to click through a bunch of different links to find it. But basically, if I go to playstation.com forward slash help, that will take me out of the user guide and onto the PlayStation support page. And then from here, I can go to somewhere like PS Store and Refunds. And then we'll go to Purchase and PSN Store. And then maybe we'll search for how to purchase content on PlayStation Store. And then if I scroll down to the bottom here, there is a need help, contact our support specialist. So we're going to select the option to contact PlayStation support. And then from there, I can go to connectivity, PlayStation network. And then from here, we can go to Twitter. As you can see right here, we've got Twitter. So this is what you really want to do is you want to find some link. Obviously, the page is going to change. You know, the website's going to change over time. So these exact links that I went to may be different for you in the future. But basically, you're just trying to find a way to get out to some kind of social media. So Twitter, for example, if I can go to Twitter, it'll be easier to get onto Google from here because once I'm on Twitter, I can, you know, sign up with Google. And then from here, you just want to get to like the privacy policy or help. So if we go to like privacy or terms and conditions here, and then from here, we can go to Google up here. And if that doesn't take us to Google, then we can scroll down to the bottom and there's a sneaky little Google link here down in the bottom left. So I can click that. And we can agree to the terms and ser service. And there we go. We now have access to Google right here. And this will work if you're not signed into PSN. As long as you have a network connection, you know, you're able to connect to the internet, but you're not connected to PSN for those reasons I specified earlier. 
then you can access it this way. And again, if I, if I go back just to show you multiple ways of doing this in case this exact way doesn't work. For example, if we go back to, you know, contact PlayStation support and connectivity, and then we went to, you know, PlayStation network and we had the Twitter link. But instead of going to the Twitter link, if that's not available, I could go to PSN status. And then from here, if I scroll down, you can see there's links to Twitter right here and YouTube as well. And then, of course, I could go to back to PlayStation.com, which will take me to PlayStation.com. And of course, PlayStation.com will have links to their social media pages on here somewhere. So if we scroll down, you can see they've got follow us on social media down here. So you've got Twitter and YouTube, for example, if we wanted to get to Google through YouTube, we could just go to YouTube right here. But I could go to sign in, for example. And then from here, I can again go back to, you know, privacy or terms and conditions and then access Google from here. If I scroll down, we've got that link down in the bottom left. So yeah, you get the idea. That's what you need to do. Obviously, the links will change over time. So, you know, I'm sure I'll get comments of people saying it doesn't work anymore or whatever, but it does. It'll always work. You just need to find a different route to be able to get out onto the social media pages. The, the tough part is just getting out of PlayStation support and onto some social media, their Twitter, their YouTube, their Facebook or whatever. And then from there, you'll be able to navigate onto Google. So the final method that I'm going to show you is quicker, but you know, it does come with some risk. So what we can do instead is we can use a custom DNS. So for the third method, what we're going to do is go into the network settings, go to settings, set up an internet connection, press options next to your Wi-Fi network, and then go to advanced settings. And then from here, we're gonna go down to DNS settings and change it to manual. And then for here, we wanna put in for the primary DNS, 192.241.221.79. And then for the secondary DNS, 165.227.83.145. And you can put, these are interchangeable, so you can swap these between the primary and secondary uh, in case one of the servers is down when you go to do this. But that's all you need to do. You can click OK and let it attempt to connect to the internet it should still be able to to connect just fine um although actually it may give an error no nope, no error okay that's fine so from here if you go back into the user guide it will still redirect you to the normal user guide right now because it needs to be refreshed the easiest way to refresh it is to sign out of your profile clearing your website data and cookies does not actually refresh it so you do have to sign out and sign back in so if we sign out and sign back into our profile, we can then go back to settings and then go to the user guide again. And this time, since we've got those DNS addresses added, you can see it will redirect us to this server right here, which is the PS, a PS4 jailbreak site, basically. But this PS4 jailbreak site has a URL redirector for PS5s. So if you just press L2 twice, it will bring up the URL redirector. And then you can just go to whatever website you want from here. So google.com, I don't know why it always skips out the dot, google.com, there we go. And we'll just go to that website and there we go. It takes us to Google. So that is a quicker way of doing it through the user guide, but obviously there are some risks involved. The fact that we're using a third party DNS address here is uh, not a good idea, generally speaking, especially I wouldn't recommend signing into your bank accounts or anything like that while you're doing this, because obviously when you're using a third party DNS address, the person who owns that DNS would be able to, you know, if they were monitoring it, they would be able to see what websites you were trying to access. They could even, you know, uh, redirect sites to, to different places. So, you know, I wouldn't recommend, you know, trying to sign into your bank account or anything like that. Uh, but it should be fine. It should be fine if you're just going to random websites or YouTube or whatever, that should be fine. I do know the person who set up that DNS address. Um, I don't believe they're the kind of person that would be trying to steal people's info and stuff like that. But still, you know, you should be cautious if you're using the third party DNS. So of course, there's the other methods that we did before, which do not require a third party DNS. So, so if you're not comfortable doing it this way, then you can, of course, just use the other methods that I showed you before. Also, once you're finished actually using the web browser, if you're using this method with the DNS addresses, make sure you change it back to normal afterwards. So once you're finished using the browser, just go back into advanced settings and change the DNS settings from manual back to automatic. 
and then that will get all your normal connectivity back because sometimes when you use that custom DNS, uh, you some things might be blocked, like game updates might not be able to down, be downloaded. You might not be able to connect to PSN properly. So make sure you switch it back to automatic once you're done and then you should be good. So there you go. Those are three different methods of accessing the web browser on your PS5. Now, bear in mind, there are other methods that are possible using like a computer alongside. Uh, for example, you can use like a proxy server on your computer and connect to the proxy server on the PS5. And then you can use the host file to redirect the, uh, the website for the user guide to Google. Uh, and then whenever you open the user guide, it'll automatically redirect you to Google. So you can do stuff like that. I thought it wasn't worth covering that here because, I mean, if you've got a computer anyway, why would you be trying to access the web browser on the PS5 for the most part? So I left that, that particular one out, but that's another method you can do as well. So yeah, there you go. Those are a few different methods there of accessing the internet browser on the PS5. Hope you guys enjoyed it or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.